Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls. This is Shin and you're watching Coffee Shin TV. I received the D1 XL conversion kit which convert the D1 Pro to D1 XL and I've got two different color. This one right here is black and this one right here is white one. So first unbox the black one and then convert this D1 Pro, it's already sort of naked, to D1 XL black. So let's do this. This is the shipping information. Here's my knife. I'm just gonna cut this one off. And I just open it. So here is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight parts are included in the box. Let's have a look on each of the parts. So this one is the Pro Steam one. I've already made a video about like how to change the Steam one to Pro Steam one and I compared the Pro Steam one and the normal Steam one. You can check the video on here. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut this one off and then open it. Here it is. And this one here is two O-rings and two clips right here. And this one is the body of the Pro Steam wand and nuts and everything is included. And this one is the bracket. With this one, you can build the D1 XL into your countertop or table or something. I'm not gonna use this one in this video, but in the next video, I'm gonna do the built-in. I'll show you how to do this. This one here is the tablet stand. And what's next? And this is a short drain tube. It's also needed when you built in your D1 XL, so I don't need it right now. And this one is a small bag for small parts. It has four standoffs and seven screws, T10 small screws and a cable tie. And then what's next? This one is for the built-in as well, so I'll just put it with a bracket. And this one is the magnets. The back panel of the D1 XL is put by the four magnets. There we go. So I just put it with the standoff and screw and the cable tie. And that's it. And this one is quite heavy. Ah, those are tools. So we include these two wrenches. So this one is 25, 26, and this one is also 25 and 26. And we also include this torque screw. I always mention in every video about the center espresso machine assembly and disassembly. We use T10 torque screw, so you need this one. For the D1 XL conversion kit, we include this one, so you don't have to worry about this. There you go. Well, that's it. And next, uh, this one is just power cable, but only the different thing is this one is right angled when you put the power cable wires can be straight down so in this case it has to bend on this side so this one is kind of like cleaner to set up your machine and this one is also for the built-in so i'll just put this one with the bracket and this one is yeah, very good this one is the back panel it's the black one and there are four screws you can see right and this one is the leg base for D1 XL. The back part is longer than D1 Pro's. And here is the hole for the wires and tubes can go in. And this one, boom. Yeah, this one is the main cover. So main cover is longer than the original one. Back side is longer. And here are three holes for screws. So this one is for the tablet stand, that's it. Unboxing was quite simple. All right. Let's get started to convert this D1 Pro to D1 So very first thing that I'm gonna do is changing the original Steam 1 to the Pro Steam 1 But the thing is I already take the main cover out It's really really easy Anyway after that you're gonna change the Steam 1 Let's do this so the very first thing you need to do is taking the clip out right here. This one is the clip. So all you need to do is just pull it out. Too easy. And then put it on safe place. And then taking the steam tube out. This one is a steam tube, the white one. So take it out. Done. And next one is taking the steam wand out. So two wrenches. 
Inside it's 25, outside it's 26. You need to hold the screws on the back and with the other wrench you need to hold front nuts here and then lose it. Too easy. And then if you lose just one time, it got like not that tight, then you can just use your hand to take this nut out. Pull this in this time and unscrew the nut inside. And then pull the nut and take the steam wand out. There we go. And then you can find there is this kind of like plastic sort of spacer. This white one is for inside and this black one for outside. So for not losing this one, screw the nut back into the steam wand like this and then put it aside and get the pro steam wand and then I'm gonna put it in. There is the nut and take it out and this plastic spacer as well. And then it just backward. Just hold this nut and plastic plate like this and then put the steam wand in. There you go. And then with your finger, screw the nut Screw, 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 get in there, get in there. And you feel it's quite tight. So now you need to use the wrenches to tighten the steam wand all the way in. The same way, 25 and 26. So screw it. There you go. So if it's really tight, like I did, if you spin it, it's gonna be just hold like this. Great! And then you need to put the tube back on. In this case, you need the O-ring. New O-ring should be better and we already included. And clip, you already have a clip right here, but new clip would be better. So I'm just gonna use new clip and new O-ring. There you go. So in here, there are two O-rings and two clips. So take one of each. First, put this O-ring in the tube like this this one also should be tight this one was kind of loose yeah this one should be fine and put this tube inside gently put this one gently in you don't need to use too much first just spin it a little softly gently and then push it gently then it's gonna go in like this and then finally the clip it back in beautiful so now i'm gonna put this cover on so there is front and back this holes for the screw right here these are front and nothing is back so just put this one in like this and then line the holes up there we go line the four holes on each side up and then you're gonna get eight screws after you taking out your main cover from Dion Pro. Use those screws. I have my screws right here. It's right on here. All right, so I'm just gonna screw them in. From now on, you need this torque screw. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and great. It was really easy to just change the main cover right and then put it upside down like so but this pro steam wand is in the way so you can just like reposition the pro steam wand like this then you can flip it quite easily all right so from now i'm gonna change the leg base this leg base has four screws one two three four right here so i'm just gonna take it out but this one is phillips head screw so you need a Phillips head screwdriver and I have mine here so I'm just gonna take the four screws out four and after you take the four screws out you can take the leg base out but gently and then you will see those four spacers so line the holes up and then put the new leg base you want actually leg base on here the holes on the spacer and the machine and this leg base should be lined up like this it seems quite right and then put the screws back in one two three and four 
great. Upside down again, so it's gonna be upside up. That's it. And next one is gonna be the back panel. So I have to take the BU one Pro back panel out. So I'm just gonna take those screws out. Those are also T10 screws, so you can take this out with this driver. Yes. You can actually take this out before replace the main cover because it's sort of deep, so it's quite annoying, but it's all right. Uh, two, three, and four. There we go. You have to take this lever out as well. There we go. Now you can take this out. When you take the back panel out, you can see like this back. It's just metal chassis. And then now I'm gonna make the magnet screw. So how I'm gonna do is, there are four standoff. One, two, three, four. And four magnets. So this magnet part should be on the back side. Take the four screws out from the same little back. Those are also the Torx T10. And then take a one standoff and one magnet and put it like this. And put this screw into the magnet hole like this. Screw this in here. Too easy. Something like that. And then screw it all the way in. And do the same on the other three. Great. And four. There we go. And then on the back there are also four holes. One, two, three four and then you can screw this bolt in the hole you can screw this bolt in the hole one two three four so there we go so i recommend you to do this one before putting the main cover on one four tie it up tie it up tie it up there we go that's it. There is no lever, so you have to take this out and then screw the lever in. So lift up slightly and then find the hole and screw the lever back in. That's it. And then put the work tank in, lift the lever up and then put it in all the way. Drip tape cover. And then what I'm gonna do next is putting the back panel for D1 XL on. So this one is the D1 XL back panel and this one is plastic. So take this out and then take this off as well. Then it's nice and clean. And those are four magnets. It can stick on the magnets on the standoff. Cool. So just one thing left, which is this tablet stand. Line up the tablet stand holes show you there are three holes and here are three holes as well so line it up there we go great and then we have the three screws left use those so one two and three looks nice and that's it now i'm gonna put the tablet on it so i just put it on the middle it seems to be in the middle this button side should be up so take the wax off and then there you go, USB cable, put it in, put it in here. And lastly, I'm going to put the cables in and tubes in. So this is the right angled cable, take the back panel out, too easy. And then put the power cable into the leg base and then put this one in here. There we go. And then the refill kit. And this one is the power cable for refill kit. So this one goes in here, like so. And then this one is the tube for catering kit and plumbing kit. And this one goes in here. Put them in here. Great. And then this one is from the drip tray with drain hole. It's gonna be like this. You can make a circular hole like this here. And then you can put all the wires and tubes through the hole. And then the back panel, put like this, this. There we go. So all the wires and tubes are not be seen. So it looks cleaner. So this is wow. my D1XL. Quite nice, eh? 
Japan. So when you run a cafe or like catering service, and customers is gonna see the back side of the machine, it's just nothing but the back panel. In Dion Pro's case, customers can see the cables and tubes, so it can be a bit, a little bit messy. So if you use D1XL, you can have the clean backside. That's it for today, guys. I unboxed the D1XL conversion kit and then showed you how to convert D1 Pro to D1XL. So in the next video, I'm just gonna build in the D1XL and it's gonna be the white version. Thank you for watching. It's been Shin and peace out. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>